Hey, what's up? This is Laid Back Luke, DJ and producer, Kung Fu athlete, and family guy. Finally, it's another life behind the scenes vlog. It was a special moment because due to the pandemic, I wasn't able to fly to the Netherlands for five and a half months. This vlog is a reunion with my sons and family as well. A new online course by me through digital DJ tips. In this vlog, you'll find out how we recorded it and what it's about. And oh boy, it's a proper one again. Let's go in. I'm back in Amsterdam. Can you believe it? It was five and a half months since I was here. just going to be a month that I'd be away but it turned out to be five and a half months and I can't believe I'm back I can't believe that I was able to hug my sons again see my family again be in the Netherlands again and I'm here to shoot the new course I'm doing with digital DJ tips and I can't wait to show you what we've got okay we're back here with Phil and Steve uh, I got mic'd up already and we're going through this new course I'm excited to to start it is a lot of things we need to record a lot of things we need to tackle it's going to be a ton of videos again so i'll uh, have you have a look at how we how we tackle all of this so usually before we film phil and i will go through what we're about to teach and um, i'm kind of missing your little notebook uh, right yeah, now it's, or... no, it's never too far from me Luke. yeah there yeah. it is phil's uh he looks quite intelligent when he makes all the notes in there and then uh, we uh, usually just uh, run through um, everything we're about to say on camera right there. And uh, it's, a, it's a lot of stuff, this course. It's been long days and I still want to see my son. So every day, dinner time, Dutch time and lunch time, New York time, I'm trying to sneak out and drive half an hour back to the house to to have dinner with my sons and my mom and then drive a half hour back and then go into late at night doing some more recording the digital dj tips right now i am actually gonna train with my oldest son we do this 15 minutes before dinner well he's currently 19 years old we are doing a boxing session all right we rounded up it's this week he started doing boxing with me and he's picking it up so so well what do you think yeah it's kind of fun actually and speaking of fun and quality time let's go into my mom's cooking my mom cooks for us uh, every day still so my mom is still living uh, in the in the dutch house i got dressed for the rest of the course again quickly having some home dinner and family time here before i go back in it's so great to be able to combine family time with, you know, doing, doing all of this. this. These are long sessions. These are seven hours per day, eight hours sometimes. A lot of stuff we, uh, we go through and right now we're going to go back into another session. There have been some technical difficulties. Anywhere around there, because you don't, you're not going to want the full width. So. so does it power itself down? Is that what you're saying? For some oh. reason it wasn't on there. Yeah, maybe it does after a while. Is it not when it's recording? Once you've done that, the second thing is the focus. And you grab this and you turn it until, see, see, when, see when they're bright? Yeah. When they're brightest, that's the keyboarding focus and full yeah. focus. Yeah. Okay. And we obviously have a lot of fun as well. The guys have a great sense of humor and uh, this connects with mine. Uh, tons of silly jokes and strange things happening sometimes. All right, Phil and Steve in a meeting right here. <laughs> great. Please continue. <laughs> He's actually filming us. <laughs> yes, I do think we need to...
probably not Steve's best production yet, but a fun one. But speaking of great productions, who remembers Besno? He is back at Mix Mash Bold again with Dance Alone. Furthermore, we released some deep tracks last week. Aor dropped Bourbon. <laughs> Available since today, Lucho with Waiting For. And the three Brazilian brothers, Audax with Castles. Waiting for castles in the sky. Last but not least, we've dropped three Runaway remixes on our main label. I just wanna get away, like run away, run away. I just wanna, I just wanna, I just wanna. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. But back to the vlog, what is this course exactly about then? It's been so good shooting the next course uh, with these guys. A lot of things we're going through right now and if you don't know about the course that I already have done uh, with Digital DJ Tips, make sure to check it down below. And then the question is, why are we shooting this next course? After making the DJ course with you, we realized that a lot of people had found it very empowering because you gave people the permission to just do some of the crazy stuff that they might, might feel is kind of reserved for the superstars. And from that moment on, really, it was on our mind. Well, look, Luke, Luke started off as a producer. Luke has spent half his life helping other people produce music. Why, why don't we do some production training with Luke? Re-edits, bootlegs and mashups, remixing and production. We take remixing and production out and take it in baby steps. What's left? is re-edits, mashups, and bootlegs. And it's a great gateway into doing proper production, becoming a proper producer. And so we thought, why not do a course on those things? And you guys agreed, so here we are making it. It's long sessions out here in Amsterdam. We just finished, the, the sun is down. And although it's late right now and I am tired, there's still no excuses. I am gonna keep a laid back look fit. Son, he's passed out on the floor. He likes doing that after a workout. So, what do you think? Yeah, it's a pretty hard workout. It's uh, incredible, right? It's just 15 minutes. Yep. Minimizing time and maximizing workout. <laughs> Thank you for being a bickle, as we say it in the Netherlands. Yeah, no problem. All right, out to another day of recording this new course. But not just yet, it's been awesome working out with my 19 and 17 year old sons. I will not remind you of my age, but I think you can all understand that I didn't hop on the TikTok trend right away. Although I must admit that it's such a fun app. We recently launched our Rolling Stone Challenge campaign and I had a blast recording videos with my daughter for this. And I've been watching every video that got sent in there awesome too. If you haven't checked it out yet, make sure you do and maybe even join in on all the fun. Rolling Stone is about being reunited with your loved ones. So maybe make a TikTok and show what you guys do well together. You and your friends could do a dance off, do a somersault or roll a dice with your parents. Get it rolling. Good luck and don't forget to use hashtag Rolling Stone Challenge. I'm looking forward to your creations and of course the best ones will get featured 
on our channels. Don't go anywhere yet. Still to come in this vlog, you will see me teaching Kung Fu and I'll take you behind the scenes when my team and I will meet to discuss my new music. It is the next day out in Amsterdam. We're gonna continue the recording. Today, I'm a little bit nervous because I am supposed to make a bootleg on the fly. Well, but thankfully I have such a long experience in making bootlegs and, and making tracks anyway. So with all of these cameras and lights, I think I'm able to do this. <laughs> Oh boy, so I just finished the, the bootleg, making the bootleg on the fly, what do you think? That was quite intense, wasn't it? Yes. I don't think I've ever recorded a lesson that's an hour and 20 minutes long before, Luke. Yeah, that was a long session for mm. sure. But um, I think we nailed it. I think it's something that you'll enjoy as well. Okay, I'm gonna drive back to the house right now, but what I do feel I need to share with you as well is although I've been very happy and feeling blessed to hold my sons and to be with them, to be with my family. Now, the other way around, I've been able to catch up with Evelina on FaceTime daily and catch up with Ashley every night before bed. But I'm happy you are here for it. If you've liked what you've seen, make sure to give me a like right now and don't leave just yet. In between though, I've always been making time for the Kung Fu athlete part of my life, teaching my online students physically distant out here. This is Remco, this is Hiro, this is Manny, and this is Rabea, who I taught back in the Kung Fu school in the Netherlands as well. Okay, but plenty and plenty and plenty more videos to record here. It's, it's such a busy week. Let's go back to Amsterdam. But right upstairs, right upstairs from where we are recording Digital DJ Tips is the Mixmash headquarters, and right now we're going into, uh, into a meeting. Our uh, a and R is uh, virtually there. He's uh, in Ibiza right now, and so uh, it's good to be here. We're going into the meeting right now. Had a good meeting at the office. We went through a lot of my new music, and I'm super excited for for you to hear this. We have these meetings uh, going through, you know, the new tracks and which direction I should go to if it should be poppier or more dance floor. So yeah, there's Steve on top of the table and. Uh, yeah, you should do your EDM uh, jump uh, after this, Steve. Here we go. Three, two, one, jump! Woo! And so, Phil, that's a wrap. Day well, five. Last, well, the day five, the last day. Is there something you'd like to say to the audience in regards to this course? Thank God it's over. No, that was, uh, that was it was hard. But it yeah. was hard because it was, like, physically and mentally hard, not because it was you know, difficult to do. It's just so much to keep track of. And compared to the other course, are, the amount of videos that we shot, is it, is it similar? Is it less? I think it's a funny one. I think in some ways we go into even more depth than in your DJ course. But in other ways, because some of these, some of these lessons are long, some of these lessons are very step-by-step, -step, taking you through and making any kind of music is not easy, right? I think there's probably as much if not more material but it's more structured and it's a bit more uh, beginning to end well so it's a lot of info a lot of teaching and we cannot wait for you to see it for you to dive into it so keep an eye out really can't wait i am so excited for you to see this course i've seen the end result and it's another proper one for more info on my bootlegs mashups and re-edits production course Make sure to head on over to this link right here, djtips.co slash Luke course dash VIP. And don't worry, after these five days, I was able to get an abundance of quality time in with my sons and we thoroughly enjoyed each other's company for all the three weeks I was in the Netherlands for. And miraculously, I was able to get back into the USA as well, having a wife and daughter there. I was in the clear for that. Make sure to hit me with a like right now and I think you will like next week's vlog too. Make sure to hit that subscribe button first to not miss out. Next time I'll finally tell you how to make your own radio show. I've heard this request for years now asking me how to make your own podcast. Well, next time I'll tell you how. Looking forward to seeing you back here. Until then, L's up, rave safely and salute. Thank you.